I have a relationship with inanimate objects around me. My car, my house, my carpet, my yoga props. In that relationship, all of the relationship is determined by me. The, the, the objects don't do anything. If I'm driving my car and I drive carelessly, I have, I have done that if I have an accident happens. I can't blame the car. Some people do. I've seen, I, I've seen some people, and this was when I was in England, somebody starts his car, it doesn't start because it's too cold and it's frozen. So he comes out and he kicks the car. This is... Uh, doesn't require too much education. This person is being idiotic. But then you come to a little more serious relationship. In every relationship, I assume I'm doing fine and the other person, the other side needs to change. So I have a relationship with, let's say, Andrew. I expect her to be perfect. I have a relationship with my parents. I expect the parents to be perfect. I expect my children to be perfect. I expect my students to be perfect students. What is missing in all this? From my car to everybody else that I just mentioned, I cannot change them. If I expect perfect student, what I should be asking myself is, am I a perfect teacher? If you expect your spouse to be perfect, are you a perfect spouse? If you expect your brother to be perfect, same applies. None of this you can change. The only place where you can make any change is with yourself. But rather than recognize that I'm not perfect, and hence there are problems with relationships, I keep focusing outside. I have seen at least one person whose breath is not perfect in pranayama because the nose is blocked. They blame the nose. At least with the nose, you can do something. But any, in any of those relationships, the doer is you. Which is the only place you can make some change. And everybody knows, I'm sure, that to change seriously anything about yourself is very, very difficult. Even if you correctly understand that you need to change something. If you have formed a lifetime habit or something, it's very difficult to change. And yet I expect the other side to change almost immediately. What is that proof? If you understand all that, what it proves is that your mind is crazy. Fortunately, I don't know if it's fortunate but I'm saying it, Everybody's mind is crazy. You are dealing with a crazy world. Now to expect crazy world to behave in the same way, that expectation makes you crazy. Yoga students particularly that I speak to have no difficulty understanding that the world is crazy. But then they expect the crazy world to behave in the same way. <laughs> this is, you have a problem. 